Understanding Tax Codes, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English learning series. Today, we have a very interesting and practical topic to discuss, tax codes. Many of you have heard this term before, especially if you are working or planning to work in an English-speaking country. So, let's dive in and understand what tax code really means. A tax code is a series of letters and numbers used by the government or tax authorities to determine the amount of tax that an individual needs to pay. Each part of the tax code has a specific meaning, and it helps employers or payers to calculate the correct amount of tax to be deducted from a person's income. Let's break down a typical tax code to understand it better. Letters. The letters in a tax code represent the individual's tax status or personal allowance, the amount of income that is not taxed. For example, L indicates a basic personal allowance. Numbers. The numbers in a tax code represent the amount of income that is tax-free, divided by 10. For instance, in the tax code, 1250 L 1250 means that 12,500 pounds of the individual's income is tax-free. Tax codes can vary based on an individual's situation. Some of the common types include emergency tax codes, usually temporary and could mean you are being overtaxed. BR, D0, D1 codes. These are used for a second job or pension and tax you at a higher rate. K code indicates you have income not being taxed another way and it's worth more than your tax-free allowance. Understanding your tax code is crucial because it ensures that you are not paying too much or too little tax. If your tax code is incorrect, you could end up facing financial issues later on. Always check your tax code on your payslip and if you think it's wrong, contact the tax authorities as soon as possible. And that's a wrap on tax codes. We hope this video has clarified what a tax code is, how to decipher it, and why it's so important to ensure yours is correct. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful English learning content. See you in the next video.